for the yesterday session cancel we are having one more session uh, tomorrow clear yeah right uh, come back tomorrow on monday right tomorrow means the next class will be on monday monday hello yes okay fine monday one session cancel now that's we are replacing on monday uh, next week monday one one last session we are taking now coming to discussion is what is the topic we are we have to discuss typecasting right so yeah uh, what is what is typecasting what is typecasting what is typecasting no, tell me typecasting is a process of converting from one data type to converting from one data type to another data type converting from one data type to another data type so converting from one data type to another data type we will go for a concept called type casting when we will go for when we will go for type casting when we will go for type casting answer any idea uh, yeah. when we when we will go for type casting for example if you one side is assigning for the integer other side is assigning for the string so in that case we need to convert that particular string to the integer part then we can assign to the uh, left hand side for the integer. Yeah. Like uh, when we will go for typecasting means whenever we want to assign one data type value into another data type variable. Whenever we want to assign one data type value into another data type variable, we'll go for type casting. For example, for example, I want to assign like this byte age equal to 20. Byte age equal to 20. So here any problem do we have? Do we have any problem in this statement? Twenty is acting like a string here. Yeah, actually but here R, RHS type is string value, LHS type is byte, LHS variable type is byte. A string value you are assigning into a numerical data type variable called byte. Due to that reason we are going for what? Typecasting. We are going for typecasting. We are going for typecasting. Clear? Yeah. Now, yeah. So, uh, here immediately we will get a question. The question is, why we require to assign a string value into byte variable? Am I right? Yes. yes. Immediately we will get a question. Why we have to assign a, a string value into byte variable? Here you want to convert from which type to which type? String string to create from string to byte. String to byte. Immediately here you will get a question. Why we have to go for? Uh, why we have to go for string to byte you will have a question so the question answer is in last class whether you remembered or not we have tried for one small requirement there we need to go for a concept called type casting for example last class we are trying like this console dot right line console dot right line enter your age Enter your age. Byte age equal to age equal to console dot read line. Byte age equal to console dot read line. And console dot write line your age is your age is age and console dot read line console dot relay so here here come on here you have a error because the RHS is doing what read line is doing what accepting a number from 
accepting some input from the user, but generally user will enter what value? String. User will not enter string here. You no, no. Want to enter <laughs> Don't, don't be exiting. Huh? Yeah, according to the last class, what is happening here? Uh, right, I'm explaining this one. First, console dot right line. Right line will print to enter your age. Then after this, RHS will execute. Here, user is user is giving 20. 20 is his age. At the time of uh, user is entering 20, the 20 type is what? String. Yeah. Now again, I'm explaining here clearly. Try to catch my point. Yeah. That is. Right. Yeah, here user is entering one minute. Yeah. Now you see OP, you run the program. First, this statement is executed. It's printing enter your age and moving the cursor to next time here end user end user is entering a value called 20 why because of relay relay is doing holding why it is holding it is accepting in from the user when it is holding when user entered 20 20 is entered by user taking by a method called relay taking a by a method called relay but when user entered 20, 20 type is what? Data type. Integer. Very good. Why because, because the default numerical type is integer. But read line will take that value and it will return. Read line will return the 20 as what? String value. String. Why, why is string? The, the return type is return, return type is string. Return, return type is string. Up to your RHS is over. Next let's say control will execute LHS for example it will throw error no doubt but for example age is the one variable that variable type is what byte byte now you see assignment RHS type is string LHS type is byte here it will throw what error yes or no so over yes. from this over a concept called type casting so that's why I said here when I said here uh, here, when I said here, uh, uh, double quotes 20, string value you have to assign into 8 means in this type of situations you require. For this, to overcome this, we'll go for a concept called type casting. C -sharp .net will support type casting in two ways. Number one, if I see, don't give your disturbance, guys. Implicit type casting number two explicit type casting number one implicit type casting number two explicit type casting now what is implicit type casting what is implicit type casting a type casting which is supporting by compiler by default is called as implicit typecasting. A typecasting which is supporting by compiler by default is called as implicit typecasting. Implicit typecasting is called as implicit type casting okay yeah is called by default which is supporting yeah note some type conversions conversions by default 
compiler will will support by default compiler will support some type conversions by default compiler will support will support let's see that uh, by default uh, compiler supporting type conversions okay let's see have you seen any uh, implicit type conversions till the time yeah in case of these implicit type conversions programmer doesn't require to worry your programmer doesn't require to worry by default it is supporting by the compiler due to that reason yeah guys now come on you tell me about this Yeah, here, right here, come on guys, uh, any type conversions you have seen which are supporting by the compiler by default? Object data type. Uh, forget about that, other than, yeah, that is the first, let's see the starting level. In numerical data types, have you seen any? S by A equal to 10. Do we have any implicit type conversion here? Yes. Do we have any implicit type conversion in this line? Do we have or no? Only one question. No. No, sir. We have implicit type. Can you use it? Mm -hmm. Here we have implicit conversion in this line. Why? Because the RHS type is what? Integer. You can observe the intelligence. It is integer. Integer RHS. Why? Because by default to numerical type is integer. LHS type is what? Byte. Yes, byte. Same type or different type or different type. But even though compiler is not giving any error, means by default it is supporting by compiler. Due to that reason, this is called implicit type question. You are not having any error. See, don't, and you can have a question I both are numerical types. Even though both are numerical types, the type is different now. Nah? One is int, other one is as byte. Yeah, even though you can see byte v equal to 20. Do we have any implicit type conversion? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Now, 20 is integer and B is byte. So all numerical data types you can assign from one type to another type. You don't have any problem. It's all supported by the compiler due to the reason programmer doesn't require to worry. Programmer doesn't require to worry. Similarly, next level go for floating point data type. Floating point data type. You take float A equal to 10. Yeah. Do we have any uh, implicit typecasting here? Yes. 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 Because, yes. because 10 type is integer, A type is float. No error. Here also you don't have any error. If error is there, it will give red marking. So here it is supporting implicit typecasting. Double, you remembered or not? Double E is equal to 1000. We have written like this. Here yes. 1000 is what type? Numerical type. And, uh, Default type is what integer, ESL type is what double, okay, into to double, no error, that's why it's supporting with a compiler. So here in the, in all these cases, programmer doesn't require to go for what? Explicit type casting. Programmer doesn't require to go for explicit type casting, okay? So now like that, you have some other category here, object A equal to 10, any implicit type casting is there? Yes, sir. Yeah, 10 type is what? String. 10 type is what? Is what? Object No issues. Object B equal to 10.5. Object B equal to 10.5. Right. Clear, huh? Yeah, any error? 
Hello, any error? No, no. Even though it is a 10.5 type, it is marked. It's a floating it's point. Called, it's called a floating mm -hmm. point data type double. is double. not double. Really double. In the double, na, double value. Default type is double here. Double value. Okay, now double value we are assigning into object. No error. Supporting by the compiler. Even though this here you can write uh, object C equal to Rama. RHS type is what? String. String. You remembered or not? Any new any data can contain by your object variable, right? Yes, sir. So this is all like object D equal to object D equal to A. Yeah. Uh, RHS type is what? Char. 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 Object. No problem. Object E equal to true. Even though this is also. Are you clear? Yes. yes. You all will come under what type casting? Implicit. Implicit type casting. Now, this is called. We don't have any uh, programmer role in implicit. But what is explicit then? What is explicit? We need to specify it to like convert one type of data to another. Yeah, a type casting, a type casting, which is implementing by programmer is called as explicit typecasting. A typecasting which is implementing by programmer is called typecasting. Which is implementing. Programmer is implementing. Programmer is implementing. To implement uh, explicit typecasting explicit typecasting by programmer we will follow It follows some special syntax. He has to follow some special syntax. But here one important point. When we will go for when we will go for explicit type casting when we will go for explicit type casting when we will go for explicit type casting come on hello hmm. whenever whenever particular type conversion not supporting by come on not supporting by not supporting by whenever particular type conversion compiler by, by compiler compiler is not supporting by compiler by default by default we will go for type testing for example for example, for example, for example, whatever statement you have written is uh, that only. By age equal to double quotes 20. Yeah, string value you want to assign into byte variable. String value you want to assign into byte variable. Is it possible with the uh, implicit? Is it possible with implicit guys? No, sir. No, oh, that's why you have not It's not possible. Showing error. It will show error. Come on, you write the same statement in your Visual Studio. Byte age equal to double quotes 20. Now it will throw an error. You can see that why? Because RHS type is what? String. LHS type is what? Byte. Byte. That's why it will throw in an error. 
So here, what error it will throw? You see, compilation. I compile this code. You also compile in your system. Same code. Right. Yeah. Yeah, what is that error? You see the error message. Copy, paste into notepad, error message. Cannot, right, see the error message. Cannot implicitly convert type, type string to Cannot byte. Byte. Do byte. I compiler is telling Babu, I cannot do this type testing called stream to byte. That you have to take care. It's giving a message to the programmer. So in these cases, programmer has to go for what type casting? Explicit. Explicit. Explicit type casting. We can implement by using three techniques. We can implement by using three techniques. Number one, we can implement by using three techniques. Number one, number one, parsing. Number two, converting. Number three, Boxing and unboxing. Number one, parsing. Number two, converting. Number three, boxing and unboxing. We can implement explicit typecasting by using three techniques. Number one, parsing. Number two, converting. Number three, boxing and unboxing. So among these three, now at present, I am first we are going to try with one. That is nothing but what parsing. So uh, what is parsing? What is parsing? Yeah. What we can do by using? What we can do by using parsing? What we can do by using parsing? Right. Answer. Using parsing, we can convert from from string to any other primitive data type. String to any other primitive data. Using parsing, we can convert from string to any other primitive data type. Using parsing, we can convert from string to any other primitive data type. Did you understand what we can do by using parsing? Come on, guys. We can convert string to, convert from string to, hello. Any primitive data types. Any other primitive data type means string to any numerical data type like 8, string to any floating point data type like 3 float double decimal. String to cat, string to bull. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Yeah, remember? Yes, sir. Remember. Right. How to implement parsing? How to implement parsing? How to implement parsing? How to implement parsing? Come on. Right. Yeah. How to implement parsing? To implement parsing, we have to use a predefined method called parse. We have to use a predefined method called parse. To implement parsing, we have to use a predefined method called parse. Predefined method called parse. About parse, about parse, it is a predefined method 
which is this is a predefined method which is member method of it is member method of all primitive data types all primitive data type data type structures structures my question is in primitive data type which are structures which are structures primitive okay. data type which are structures i have given that okay. they very are 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 what is object byte is a structure byte is a structure remember da struct all numerical types are structure first point like long means numerical data is a structure structure didn't we discuss about this hello all yes. primitive discuss or not discuss da discussed discussed discuss. float double floating point data types also structures it is defined structure double you see double f12 i am opening predefined code it was defined by the microsoft as a structure within a base class library called system okay double decimal are structures your car is also a structure Carry is also a structure. Carry is also a structure, part of system. Okay, next to bool. Bool. Bool is also a predefined structure, part of system base class library. Right. Next to coming to logical uh, string. String is a structure or class. string is a class or structure class class and what about object what about object object class data type object is a structure defined by the class. microsoft class or structure it's a class class is a class so class. here i said it is a predefined method which is member method of all primitive data type structures means it's available in all numerical data types it is available in floating point data types it is available in uh, char and bool clear ah yes sir got it yeah. using parse method we can convert from string to any other primitive data type string to any other primitive data type using parse method we can convert from string to from string to any other primitive data type from string to any other primitive data type we can convert from string to any other primitive data type yeah now syntax for parsing syntax for parsing two data type two variable two data type two variable two data type dot method called what parse parse see let me show you parse method otherwise i'll show you parse method now into dot there is a method called what is the method name parse parse into dot parse and here one more important point we forgot here using parse method we can convert from string to any other data type means it will accept only string value it will accept it can convert from string to any other data type i said why it will convert only from string to because parse method is having one parameter observe the observe in intelligence it is having one parameter the parameter type is what string string due to that reason it will take only string value 
but it can convert in to any other primitive data type, string value to other primitive data type. So that is the story because the method is having only one parameter, one parameter. The parameter type is string value. If you want, I can show you the intelligence of parse method, which is defined in into. You can see, don't see the remaining parse method, only see this parse method. How many parameters are there in that method? Only one. The type is strings. String value. String. That is the story. Okay. Now, now this line, what it will do? It will convert string to in this line. It will convert string to here. String to in. integer. String, string to, to integer. integer. Anyhow, let's see the syntax. Then you will get the standard out standard procedure. Two data type, two data type means the data type where you want to convert the data type. Two variable means the targeted variable equal to two data type. The targeted data type dot parse of string value of string value. Dot parse of string value, string value. So this is the string value. Are you clear, all of you? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you please uh, write one example with the syntax? We will come later. First, let's understand the syntax. Okay. Right. Don't depend on example. First, to understand the syntax. One time you write on paper, all of you. We did, sir. Yeah, you write it on paper, all of you. Okay, written all of you? Right. Two data type means destination data type. Two variable means destination variable. And uh, ah, what is that? Two data type dot what method parse and parenthesis will contain the value what you want to convert. But always the value should be what value? String value. String value. String value. String value. Are you clear? Yeah. So let's see the examples. Now let's see the examples. See, coding when you are learning, you have to attention, put attention like anything. Once you learn, nothing is there. I'll tell you. Task 1. Task 1. Byte H equal to double quotes 20 is your requirement use your requirement this you want to uh, implement with the help of parsing how two data type is what here byte byte two data type is what byte byte and two variable is what age 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 but what value string value that's why again two data type what is the two data type byte dot Parse. Byte dot parse. Parse of 20. 20. Of 20. Then what will happen? How this line will execute? Try to understand this line. Parse method will convert that string value into hello into First year RHS or LHS, which will execute first? RHS. 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 Parse method will convert this double code story into 20. 20. Okay, right now the 20 type is what? Five. LHS will create a variable and assignment. Clear up. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. One more, one case. So, other task is task two. Task two is string my age equal to 20. 
So three more models are there. And byte age equal to my age. My age. Problem ah? No problem ah. Problem ah? No problem. Error is there or not there? No. no. no Error is no there. Problem. It is there because RHS variable type is string, LHS variable type is byte. This I want to achieve overcome with what type casting. Come and tell me the code byte age equal to hmm. byte dot parse. Parse of my my age. Instead of direct value, I am taking the help of variable. Clear? Huh? Yes, sir. Now my age is string variable, but it will convert into Byte. Byte and assign. Next, coming to task 3. Task 3, our actual requirement. Console.write line, enter your age. Enter your age. Byte age equal to console.read line. Console dot right line. Your age is age. Over. This is the case. Your requirement. Now read line method will accept a number. Read line method will accept some value. You are entered twenty. But read line method will return twenty as what type? String type. String. That you want to convert into byte. Come on, you tell me. Tell me the parsing here. Byte age equal to byte age equal to byte parse dot byte dot parse byte dot console dot read line for parse method you are you are passing a read line value for parse method you are passing read line value. Now let me explain this code. Let me explain this code. Right. Compilation and execution. Now you see how it will work. Okay, instead of like this, I'll I'll explain first a simple way. Uh, very like what will happen, you see. I'll keep like this. Like Copy. Console dot write then. Enter your age. And uh, control will execute in this line. First what? LHS or RHS? R -H -S. R -H -S. R -H -S. In RHS first it will execute what? Console dot three line. Console dot what is that? Read line. It will execute console dot read line first. That console dot read line is holding user entered a value called 20. 20 is entered by user. 20 is entered by user. That 20 is taking by read line and read line read line is taking 20 that it will return as what value? Byte. No, yeah, you are confused how it will return as byte again. I am telling you. String string. Console dot write and enter your age. Enter your age. And uh, RHS will execute. In RHS first two, what will execute? Parse method. Uh, parse method signature will execute first. Signature will be holding. Holding user entered from here user entered two zero to whom read line method but read line method will return the twenty as what string value string value why because read line method return type is what string here read line method will return string value the string value is read line is giving to which method Parse method. Parse method. Parse method will convert that double quotes 20 into 20. 20. Are you clear? Here 20 will come. 
20 will come like this. This 20 is first 20 is given by the user. Second 20 is this is given by the read line method. And the last 20 is written by here 20 type is what? Byte type. Right. Then LHS will create a variable called age. Age type is byte. Finally, assignment. Clear, ah? Sir, yeah. uh, can you small? Sir, consolidated read line return the string value 20, then parse directly converted yeah, into 20 into byte value. One minute, one minute. Programming learning means you put attention, full attention. One more time, I'll explain in one more style. No, 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 no
after you complete this example, you try this type of examples around 10. Depends upon your interest. 10 means accept. This is employee information. Accept student information display. Accept customer information display. Accept product information display. Accept faculty information display. Like that. You implement 10 examples like that. I'm sure you will get more command. Again, we'll discuss in next class about that. Can you show example. the topi once again? Can you show the topi again? Yes. Okay, na. So, so Monday we have like. Uh, yeah, we have. Like, so, what time is the correct class time? Same, same time, same time. See, my time is. I'm following my time according to my time. I'm starting the session every day. India time morning 5:30 a.m. To 6:30 a.m. Same time at present. Okay. Even though your time is changed, you adjust according to that. India time, according to India time, it's 5.30 a.m. Okay? You okay, check. Thank you. All of guys are Indians only. You people always will talk to your parents. According to that, you calculate. I think some time changed in U.S., right? Yeah, I think it will, tomorrow, on Monday, it will change. On Sunday, it will change. On uh, Sunday, on August 20, it will change. It's going to change, but the time is according to my time. I can't change because I... This is only one time I have because total my 12 hours will be fixed with different different batches. Only I can give you this. This session when we will go to the regular may extend half an hour time if all the people will agree. According to the India time 5.30 a.m. IST. Okay na? Clear all of you? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Monday is the last class uh, free course. Next we are going to convert into paid and who are interested try to like uh, do your uh, like uh, uh, you give the commitment to the company. Right. That's it. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye to all.